of the One life of the really neat foundations of MAPSIC is that it allows, allows you to add and develop pre some and post um, assessments key to the events you post within your portal, saving you nice trees, about Mapsing paper is costs, you and a place money. Where you can so I'm going to show you how to where that Rolodex form is and how to create it, and then we're going to attach it to an event. And, and I'll show you also what it looks like so for when this someone has RSVP'd and filled on the event. So go to your organization's portal homepage and hover over events on the left-hand module side. From here, so go, go over to events and list and click. Portal page. And from here, now, this will bring you, as you know, all corner. lists now, I do have of to all tell you the upcoming you events. Not you like the little draw out I did there? You do um, the a list of all the upcoming events that your organization has planned. So, you so as you can see here, the um, RSO office is offering Top Belly Wednesdays one day each month for spring semester. Now, for this day, we're actually going to be cooking crock pot lunches, and those who RSVP will be guaranteed a lunch that day. That'll bring you so here. let's just I'm say that I want on, students to actually help me pick, pick which recipe I'm going to make that day. All the no problem. I can General actually create an event form and attach so it to the um, event so that when people RSVP, they're asked to answer a simple question so I know which dish they would prefer. So to do that, you have to build the form within your events module. Okay. So here at the top, we've got these tabs. Click on the events form. And go then over click to create form. Now, now these now this stuff give, does give you excuse me right here um, directions top, for how to do this, top, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you now. So create meal. contact book. I'm going to go of ahead course. here and create. Um, we'll say this on is going to be resources for the March one. Okay. And then here I'm just going to say this. Then is I'm a going list to say form of description. All of um, the, please um, indicate. The, um, please vote. We'll say with please um, vote campus. for. Now I'm going to make this visible to only my club. Option. It's not necessary for everyone within MapSync to see it. So click my groups and click submit. Now my contact book has been created. Selected. From here I can add entries. Okay. And, and then, then add here, entries I create one page. by one by simply filling now, out on all this the page I do here. have to title it. Otherwise or it won't let me add If I'm any smart questions. what I'll so do is just take a little time to create an Excel spreadsheet and actually import it. March. Actually, if you click on and import here, a question. you don't have now your element to builder here. As you can see, it has a you can add a single you. line question. So like if you name, do have an Excel and then they can just type in their name or multiple line entries. For example, uh, tell me about a Once time you click when on blah, 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 blah. It's and then you they can fill gobbly gobbly out a whole paragraph really, um, about something with this one. So or you have multiple choice that, options, and instead upload when you options, click on import, and additional elements. Download CSV, For this one, I'm actually right just going to okay. choose so multiple right choice. And click save as. Within multiple choice, Once I can do, do check you can boxes, save radio um, buttons, or a drop down menu. Save, and you're good check to go. boxes make it so that, that you can actually choose more than one like option, which is not what I want to do with this one. So I do want to flush out a little bit. Most of the four options. So I'm going to do radio buttons because for this one, you can only vote once. And then we'll get rolling. Then here, so question, um, it asks you for affiliation. So what's the company Both name, the, you, the person's name or contact favorite, name, email address, phone um, number, mailing option. address, your very basic stuff, okay? Requiring From here, answer. you'd want to save Just it. Just to simplify it. And then this what you can do chicken. is upload it. So I'm clicking Beef. save. Just yes, it already exists. I know that. Veggie. And I'm going to click out of here. Okay. I'm gonna now, down. all I have I'm to do done is go to And now, import. I'm going to save this form. Once I do that, I now this browse, form will be populated underneath that forms tab that within created. the events list. So I need to go back to events, event list, and, and then once I see it's been attached here, from just here, click import I can list. actually click on the event for which I want to attach the form. Been now, here so I do need to tell you something. To do if I click, click on an on event, and there's already been an RSVP, RSVP see, as there are here, everyone from my I no longer have the option of actually attaching has um, this pre-information gathering so form. So, it's really and as less, simple as I that. These people and if I want to delete entries from then, the RSVPs as time goes on, attach it. Now, you don't want to do that too often because you're going to start to take off some people, right? And it creates more work for you because you have to email them to be, hey, sorry, I had to kick you out because I had to attach a form. Please now RSVP again. You know, that creates a lot of hassle. So make sure that you attach the form before you let people RSVP for it. So I'm going to go back because I know our March option hasn't had any RSVPs yet. I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to go up here in the upper right hand corner and click edit. Now I can scroll down, go to advanced options, click on pre-registration form or post if it was a post evaluation form. And when I select form, all the forms I've created within the events um, module will actually be dropped down here. So I'm going to go with the form that we've just created, auto approve all form submissions, yes, and update. 
Now, as you can see here, when people actually RSVP, they'll check this box, yes, register now, instead of I will be attending just a simple radio button. Once they do this, this form pops up. So I'm going to vote and then I'm actually going to bring you to the page so you can see what, how it gathers that information. So I'm just going to say I want chicken and I'm going to click next. Now I'm finished. So I click finish and I've now RSVP'd for that event and let them know what my meal option is. Now here in the event, as you'll notice, you could go back to events list, go to the event because obviously you may or may not be RSVP'd for that. And then on this right hand side, you have admin tools. Click View Form Submissions, and now I have within here Pot Belly Wednesday. Oh, Ashley wants chicken. Now, if I go back, I can actually go up here to the top once all of the people have RSVP'd. Click Export, and I can export that data. So, if I go Export Excel, something really cool happens. This is going to actually email me an Excel spreadsheet with all of the um, meal options that people have indicated. And then from there, I can choose the one that was voted most popular and cook that on that day. So that's how you attach pre and post evaluation forms. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact the RSO office. And thank you for your time.